y'all. It's Diane with Shell Craft One and my old barn door. And I am here to do the flip through of our billowing ring binder farmhouse Christmas or Christmas farmhouse journal. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, I didn't plan on it being a billowing journal, but it just kind of turned out this way. And I love it. I love the way it turned out. I'm super excited to show you. So let's get started. So on the front here, you have the barn doors and I'll show you that in just a second, but I wanted to show you the spine. So I did um, a white chenille cover um, for the journal. So it's white chenille on the spine and the back and the front. And you'll see that in a second. But then my sweet, sweet friend Jenny had sent me this um, cinnamon whisk broom. And I thought how fun it would be to put that on the spine of the journal. And then when you get your package, it's going to smell all cinnamon and Christmassy. So I thought that would be a super fun addition to it. So um, in our little barn door here, you just untie the seam binding here. And you have the little flip out cover. So you have some of the um, uh, texture paste here through stencil. And then you open this side up and you have some ledgers, some vintage ledgers with texture paste here. And then you have this sweet, sweet, I have hoarded this little doily here um, for probably two or three years um, and just waiting for the perfect journal. And I thought this was it. And so I made it to be a little pocket and inside the pocket you have a little Christmas tag, fun little Christmas tag, and then you have a little glassine bag with some of those sweet little die cuts that my friend um, Tia sent to me. So that is your front cover and it just ties back like so. And I love the seam binding because the more you crinkle it, the better it looks to me. <laughs> okay, so we open it up and as you can see, um, again, it billows out the top, it billows out the side, and it billows out the bottom. So, a fun little billowing journal. I'm gonna raise the camera a little. There we go, just to make sure you can see everything really well. Um, I did a collage on the front and side cover, and I didn't put a pocket because, quite honestly, I loved the way the collage turned out, and I didn't wanna cover it. So, I'll leave that to you. If you wanna cover it, be my guest. But I just thought it was too pretty to cover that. And then you have the protector piece here. And um, this is from the Christmas Farmhouse Digital Kit. And then you have a little paper clipped um, mason jar there. This is some of that Tim Holtz paper. And I put, punched a little hole there and put these cute little Christmas skates that my friend Yolanda had sent me last year. And I didn't get to use them. And I just thought they were so cute. The little crocheted um, ice skates. So that is dangling off of there. You have a fabric pocket here with a couple of sweet little tags. And this is like a little vintage bookmark. I love the patina on the back of that. Um, you have a Christmas scripture here. Put it off the red nosed reindeer and a page tab. Sweet little envelope pocket here. It's just clipped on with um, a rusted paper clip so that you can use it anywhere in the journal that you want to. Um, excuse the ink on my finger. It's been in my last couple of videos because it's, I've washed my hands, I promise, but it's printer ink and you know that stuff sticks forever. <laughs> okay, this is that little envelope that we made and I just put a little, tucked in a cute little Christmas card. You can either take this part and use it in the journal or um, give it as a gift, however you'd like. Super cute little envelope there and then this is like a little half piece and it's got a little fabric pocket here with just some ephemera pieces in there. Cute little Christmas tag tucked in there. And then in the top pocket, I gave you that um, vintage eggnog um, recipe that I found in that book that I showed you. So I thought that was super cute. And I loved, loved, loved this. I was tempted to keep this recipe myself, um, but Jeff has diabetes, so we can't have these things here. So... He would be too tempted if I made that. So not going to do it to him. <laughs> so I added it into the journal. So in these little sleeves, um, I just tucked you some extra pieces of ephemera from the Christmas kits. Um, just until you get ready. If you want to use it for pictures or recipe cards or however you want to use it. But I just thought I'd put you some extra goodies in there. There's the little recipe card page with a page tab. These are the little stickers for your um, tabs that came with the original book. 
And then this is a sleeve that came with the original book too. And I put you all of the little goodies, all of the little cutoffs that I cut off from the ring binder kit, they're in here. And then here on this side, I put you some of my favorite Christmas wrapping paper with the farm stuff on there. This is the little fold out page that we did together. And so I had to fold it a little bit differently than I did it in the video, but I still think it turned out super cute. And I love, love, love the fabric page on the back. This is a little pocket that I made out of, it was a little hand towel and it was embroidered and I thought, just thought it was so pretty. So I put some rings in it, some um, grommets, I guess you'd call them, and added them into the journal. And then this is um, a very, very vintage um, hanky that was gifted to me. And I thought it went just so pretty to billow out the top of this journal. Now I have a piece of cardstock down in the pocket just to give it a little stability, uh, but there's nothing on it or anything. And then I have a belly band on the back of it. And in the belly band, I put that very vintage recipe piece that we found in that one book. If you watched the quick little series that I did with the little um, uh, receipt on the back, and she wrote a little recipe on the back of the receipt. So I just thought that was super fun to add in. And then here is one of the tab pages, and I just um, clipped this on in case you don't want to use it as a pocket here, but you can use it anywhere. But it was just my idea to have a cute little pocket here. Um, but you can collage on this or however you want to do it. And again, this is one of those recipes that we found in that book that we went through together in one of the videos. And so I added that in on the other side. Page tab there. I'm trying to go kind of quickly. I know I'm kind of not, but <laughs> this is a piece of ledger paper. And um, I just printed like a little, um, it was a vintage letter and I printed it on vellum. And I just thought that was a super fun effect to give you something to play with in your journal. This is a rusted paper clip that it's clipped on with. A little scripture. One of those ideals pages. This is one of those pages from that, uh, one of those books that we went through. And I just love that so much. And then you have this gorgeous, gorgeous doily page that billows out on the top bottom and the side I just thought it was so pretty to add here with these pages a little page tab there scripture and then a little journaling card there this is one of those rusted clips that we did a long time ago together on video this is a vellum pocket here and inside the pocket I've just stuffed you a bunch of goodies in there to play with in your journal this is the Helen no Holly Hobby <laughs> book page that I finally picked. I know I told y'all I would surprise y'all with it. So I printed it on a piece of my paper because I couldn't decide between the two. So I made it a front and back print so that I could have both of those images in the journal. Page tab at the top there. Sweet little wooden ornament that I thought would just be perfect in this ring binder journal. I love that so much. Then this is one of the ideals pages that we picked. And it was kind of long, but I didn't want to cut the top of that because you have, it kind of gives you the feel of the barn, you know, and it has the name of the poem. So I just kind of did it like that and cut it so you can fold it. And then on the back of that page, I have a little sack here with just some really fun um, goodies in there for you. Some little journaling cards and some of those vintage ads um, that I had from last year. I printed some of those and put in a little sack for you. This is another one of those vintage um, res handwritten recipes that we found in that book together. And I love, I hope you can see the patina on there. I'm not sure if you can. And I love the way it was just folded all willy nilly. And so I just left it like that because I actually love that look. Here you have a fabric pocket and inside the pocket are tons of little goodies for you to play with in your journal, some tags and some journaling cards cute little flash card and then you have this is one of the pockets that's actually um this and the tag I made these last year and then I scanned them in um, because I had people asking me for a Christmas kit so I scanned them in and that's part of the collage Christmas kit from farmhouse uh Christmas kit from last year so you get some of the originals and then this is a cute little envelope that my sweet friend Debbie sent to me. And when she stitched this on, she stitched the envelope closed. So I just made another back for it. 
and then stuffed it with some fun little goodies and pieces of ephemera for you to play with in your journal. This is another one of those book pages that we picked and I just folded it up and made it a pocket here on the back side. You've got some fun little um, goodies to play with, um, ephemera pieces in there. Sweet little seed envelope and this is a little tag that I've tucked in but I just love how that plaid shows through the window and a tag and a little card. This is like, it feels velvet. So I guess you call that flocked maybe. And then a vintage style time card. Page to have there with some vintage ribbon that my sweet friend sent to me. That folds open. There's the Grandma Moses page and I love it. And I didn't want to cut it so I just clipped it here and made a little pocket on the inside and put you some fun little goodies. This is another one of those coffee dyed envelopes and it's got just some little clippings from a magazine but it's got words Christmas words in there so I thought that would be fun to play with in this journal and on the back of this we did the wrapping paper if you remember from the last video or whichever video that was and then here we have this beautiful beautiful doily and this was a piece that my friend Yolanda sent me last year and I loved how it had the little spot on the back where I could just run a safety pin through it and clip it on. So I thought that turned out super cute and I thought it would be a sweet little element because this is like a little vintage Santa face. So there you have that doily page and it billows out the top, side and bottom. Um, this is a vintage postalette that my sweet friend Debbie gave to me. So I thought it would be cute to add that in here. You've got a little page tab here on the top and then here you have one of my little fabric pocket um, like little quilty pocket pages and then inside I've tucked a little this is a piece of vellum that I thought you could have fun with and then a little embellishment that just looked cute tucked into the top of that pocket there my sweet friend Susie Provine sent these to me last year so I'm kind of hoarding them but I did share one in here and then a cute little snowman, crocheted snowman. I've just dangled it on with the bulb pen that I got from Yolanda. Thank you, Yolanda, for all my goodies. Christmas scripture there. And then I just thought this would be a fun little piece to play with. It's just like one piece. It's not like a card or anything. Here is that Hebrew Bible page to the Torah. And then this is a envelope that I made last year. And so I've just kind of clipped it onto that page mainly to give this page a little bit of stability because it's very thin and brittle it's from 1910 so if you take this off it opens up and there's a piece of just a coffee dyed journaling piece in there for you let me see yeah it's it's lined and it's got this little sweet little image on it um, so that you can see it through the window like so okay and then we have another little, this is um, like a little fabric billy band that I have here. And inside, I put you one of those vintage newspaper clippings that my friend Carol sent to me. Thank you, Carol. And it's just from uh, the 1980s, 1982. And I love the ads on the back side. So I thought that would be something really fun to add in here for you to play with in your journal. I love adding the vintage pieces. This is one of the backside prints from my Christmas collage kit from last year. And this one is from the Christmas farmhouse kit from this year. One of the ideals pages. I love, love, love this Christmas tree. Absolutely love it. <laughs> this one flips open. And then last but not least, you have this gorgeous, gorgeous vintage doily page here. I just think this is just so pretty. That is so much work. Absolutely love this. And hopefully you can see the patina in it on video. Page tab there. It starts getting a little thick, but once you start taking things out and making it your own, you know, you can change that. Here's one of the little book pages we added, and then a little fabric page, and I added washi on the edge just to reinforce um, where it goes into the holes. A little Christmas music and then on the back side of that is a little coin envelope that I made last year this is also in the Christmas collage kit from last year um, and then you have a little scripture there I love 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 this trim it was gifted to me and I hoarded it 
little um, stitched um, collage piece there, <laughs> if I can get my words to come out. And then in this pocket, I put some of the Quilt Star wrapping paper that I've been hoarding. <laughs> And then a couple more of those little fold outs. So just you can put these, you know, you can put them on the page, make them a pocket in behind, and then it opens up um, for secret journaling. So there are two of those in here. These are the originals that I made the kit with from last year. And then here I had to add in one of these little Christmas sacks because I love it. Here's some of my quilted fabric pieces that I thought you can make pockets out of or whatever in your journal or you can cut them and use them as page tabs however you want to tag toppers and then this is a pocket here too cute little fabric piece a little um, mason jar and a cute little tag in there and then it's also a pocket in behind if you want to make um, tuck something in behind there and then you have the very last page here. And then on this protector sleeve is where I put my pocket here and I will sign it for you. Okay, I signed it for you. And then again, you have the back page here. Um, again, that's collaged. And again, I just thought it was too cute to cover it with the pocket. So I'm leaving that option open for you because you have stuff in here um, that you can put a pocket on there if you want to. So anyways, that is our billowing Christmas farmhouse ring binder journal last one of the season I hope you get to grab it if you see this video it's in the shop if you don't see it there it's already sold they sell fa fairly quickly so hopefully um, you get it if you love it and thank you so much for watching leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below don't forget to like and subscribe you can use the links that you're seeing pop up and I hope you have a great day and a Merry Christmas because